it's me, Kari, and I'm back with another video. This one I'm very excited for because I'm going to be talking about sleepovers. So I'm going to be giving you, like, I'm going to be showing you stuff that you could use for your first sleepover or your next sleepover. I don't know. Um, they're going to be, like, things that you can do for virtual and in-person sleepovers. If you're doing in-person, please be careful and wear your mask. Okay, let's get to it. Please make sure before you start watching this video, you hit the big like button to show me that you liked it. Great. Fun. And make sure you subscribe. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to be doing like needs and then I'm going to be doing not needs and wants, but basically like the, you know, the essential stuff, the stuff that you're really going to need. And then, like, the fun stuff, the stuff that you really don't need, but brings the excitement. So, the first stuff on the need, the essentials, is a blanket. Because if you don't have a blanket for a sleepover, then I feel like you're just going to have to, like... I mean, you could always use your friends. You could always ask your friends. I mean, if, if they're nice, then you'd be like, yeah, you can have my blanket. Totally, totally. Or they'll be like, no, you should buy your own. So, just be sure that you're very prepared. Um, I'm going to be showing you a few different things, so you're probably going to need a bag for it. And I have this super cute overnight bag. I love it. It's pink and so awesome. I had to pay a lot of money for it, but, you know, it was worth it because I can literally fit so much stuff in here. Like, if I wanted to go on a vacation, maybe not a vacation, but, oh, got some socks in there. Yay. Well, you're also going to need socks, of course, for your sleepover. If you don't have socks, you're probably going to buy your friends, and you're going to have to end up keeping them, and, yeah, it's not the best idea. But, I mean, I mean, they wouldn't want it back if you already wore it, because that would be very disgusting. Anyway, so, yeah, got my bag, put my blanket in, and my socks. I'm just going to pack as we go. Make sure when you, you pack nicely. I'm not doing this as nicely as you could, but, you know, you should because being prepared is key. Make sure you bring pajamas. I usually wear nightgowns. Don't judge me, but they're very comfortable. I sometimes wear, like, shorts and a shirt. That's, like, most times, but other times I wear these because it's comfortable. So, yeah, wear what makes you comfortable. The next is my overnight bag. And I'm going to give you the rundown of what's inside. So, well, whenever I go to my grandma's house or something like that, friend's house, I always bring this bag. They don't always use what's in there, but, you know, it's good to be prepared. I'm always prepared sometimes. Um, so, in here I got a toothbrush. I got some, this is like itching cream. And it just helps you, like, I always get... When I get mosquito bites, I get them, like, really bad in the summertime. So, that's kind of bad. And they usually get, like, really swell up. And you probably don't want to hear that. But, anyway. Yeah, so that's why I have the itching cream. This is from a hotel, actually. It is Citrus Body Bar. And I don't know if it's... I don't think it's illegal or anything. But, no one says you can't keep them. They're there, so. Yeah, and I got some toothpaste. Probably need some more because it's basically empty. More soap. I've got some ooh citrus conditioner and body wash. I, have, I actually haven't used it, so maybe I could try it. And I've got some chopsticks. So usually my lips get really dry, like they are right now. So I'm probably gonna use one. And so like this, they have like cotton candy. I, I have so many. I have cotton candy, lavender, a uh, blue raspberry. Ooh, melon mango melt. I'm going to do the mango one because it just sounds good. Mm, yeah, if you could if you could smell this right now, you'd be like, so good. And then, oh, this one is cotton candy. I love the cotton candy. I kind of want to eat it, but I know I'll probably get sick if I do. And then, oh, more shampoo. And then some spray. Because you always want to smell good. You never know. Does this even work? It doesn't even work. You gotta have spray that actually works. Like this one. This one works. So, yeah. I'm gonna put all this stuff back because I don't want to end up using it and then be like, 
Ah, where's all my stuff? And the like, it's good to be prepared. And like, I'm glad that the hotels have stuff like that because you never know what kind of situation you could be in. Um. Okay. You obviously need pajamas, like I said, some clothes. Like, always pay attention to the weather. Always pay attention to the weather because you never know what the weather's going to be. Maybe it's going to be, oh, it's going to be all sunny all day. And then you realize towards the end of the night and then the day after that, it's going to be all rainy. So you're probably going to need stuff to match the weather, so make sure you look at the weather. Oh, and I'm not going to show you all of the stuff because some of it's very self-explanatory. Like, I hope you guys know what most of the stuff is because if you don't then that's I then but I can still show you I can still show you um yeah pants if you need it shorts you know whatever you may need oh and shoes of course if you don't have shoes it's not gonna be good I really like these shoes but I can't fit them anymore so that's really sad because I really like them um anyway enough about me oh and obviously deodorant because you don't want to be smelling in your friend's house and they'd be like hey, what's that smell a scrunchie if you have one um always good to put on your hair and oh that actually no it looks terrible but anyway you know how scrunchie works um i've actually got one on now and yeah oh and if it's cold obviously you get a jacket so and your phone because if you end up want to contact your parents or someone like that and be like please pick me up or like what time you want to pick me up stuff like that how's it going so make sure you have that because that's very important okay so i think that's enough for the needs like obviously there's more stuff like if you want to pack undershirt um like a halloween costume if it's halloween like just make sure you're packing for the occasion that's basically what i'm trying to say pack for the occasion and make sure you're ready um you know obviously pack like underwear undershirt bra if you wear it um stuff like that anything you may possibly need wear that i'm just giving you like what i would bring and stuff like that so now i'm going to show you some of the some of the fun stuff so we're gonna get to that so i forgot to tell you guys but like another thing in the needs or like lotion and stuff like that if you want it you don't really have to but you know you can so possibly for this one like I have this thing it has like different stuff in it and it's got like cards and you play different games in it it's really cool and I haven't played this in a while they have like go fish crazy eights stuff like that and it comes this little tin so that's really cool um yeah, that one, that that's pretty fun. Like, if you want to, like, if it's a swim party, obviously bring a swimsuit and stuff like that. Another thing, like, bring the entertainment. Like, if you want to bring your, I don't know, iPad. If you want to bring, like, your computer. Like, I already said you can bring your phone. But, like, if you want to bring stuff like that and just, like, watch stuff on there, then you can. Because, you know, it's not bad if you do that. There's no stopping you. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, a pillow. You obviously need a pillow for pillow fights and stuff like that. So get your pillow. And if you want, you can bring a stuffed animal. It's up to you. But, you know, I usually don't unless I'm going to my grandparents' house. Because I'm going to probably be there for a while. But anyway, um, so another stuff that you other stuff that you could bring is probably like candy and maybe stuff like that. Oh, where's my... I was going to give you guys like a demonstration. Okay. Yeah, so like... If you want to bring, like, chips and stuff like that, this is, funny story, this is empty. So, if you hear, like, rattling, it's probably just a tiny chip in there. You know, I don't see anything in there. Whatever. Trash. I didn't land on my bed. Um, you, you know, you can bring snacks and stuff like that. There's no crime in doing that. I mean, even if you're, like, like, it, maybe it's your friend's birthday. You gotta bring a present. If you don't bring a present, then I feel like your friend might be upset, but she'll be like, maybe, I understand what you're going through, or I understand why you didn't. So then, you know, you wake up and you'd be like, oh, I can get you one another time. Everything will be okay. So, um, now I'm going to just tell you a little bit, a little bit about sleepovers and, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so sleepovers are really fun. You can do them with your friends, you can do them with anyone, really. Siblings. Um, if, these, if, if it's your first sleepover, here's a few things to know. One, 
you can always contact your parents if you want to go home and if it's getting like too out of your comfort zone and stuff like that. Always remember that. Two, always have fun. Um, it's time where you can be free and just be yourself and do whatever you want to do. But just for make sure you don't like disc like ruin things in your friend's house and you might possibly get in trouble too. Um, five, you know, like I said, have fun, be yourself, and make sure you're getting along. Like, fights are the worst part of sleepovers. Because, like, say one of the friends did something, and, and she's like, this is my house, you can't do that. And then she's like, well, I can do whatever I want. And, you know, it just starts back and forth, and you don't like that. You can always be like, hey, this is a sleepover. We're trying to have fun here. But don't start something bigger, please, because that's not going to be good at all. But anyway, like I said, I've had a lot of sleepovers before, so I kind of know what's happening. They're all the same, but they don't have to be. A sleepover can be anything you want it to be. It can be where you talk about your feelings, you can be silly, you can watch tons of movies all day. I don't even know. Whatever you want it to be, it can be. So just remember that. And, and so, yeah, that's pretty much it. If I missed anything, you know, you probably know, you probably look it up like that but I really hope you like this video because I had fun making it and I hope you keep watching all my videos if you haven't you can go watch them make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video bye